Hey guys, this is Julia from Just One More Card and today I want to show you how to create such a nice rainbow effect on a die cut word. I am going to be using the Polar Pals stamp and die set by My Favorite Things and this Celebrate die set by Neat and Tangle, but it should work with every um, um, word die that you've already got. Now I'm using some masking tape here to um, mask off my ground because my penguin is going to stand on some pristine white snow and I want to um, create a very subtle background. So I'm using the Tim Holtz spritzer tool, which works with your Copic markers or any other like wet markers to spray their ink on top of a surface. Um, you know, I mean, there are like specific like airbrush tools from Copic themselves, which, you know, probably do awesome things too, but you know, this manual thing does the job and is quite a lot cheaper. So, um, and it gives you a very subtle, very soft background here. That's what I really like about it. So it's very soft, very subtle, and won't distract from anything else. Now I've already die cut uh, the Celebrate word die here a few times, and I've glued it together. Um, you know, it's always, to me, it's like a painful process because it takes forever. So I skip that, but basically you just die cut it a few times, use glue, put it together, and then you have a more dimensional sentiment. And now I'm just using my Copic markers and I'm doing regular blending with Copic markers, something that you know you do on the images that you usually color. And you can see here where the colors meet, I usually overlap them a bit and make sure that they blend, but I don't go too far to make sure that I have a very pristine color on each letter. You can see a little bit of blending here, but otherwise it's very pristine. And this is how you can very easily create a rainbow color die cut. Um, it's not complicated, it's super easy. If your Copic markers are actually filled with ink, it's much easier even. Um, but you know, you know, not everything can be perfect. And then uh, I'm spraying it with a mix of Perfect Pearls and water, which I always have in my mini mister. And this is just to add a lot of shine to the word because um, I'm on a kick where I just need shimmer and shine on everything. So you probably see me use this in almost every video now. I heat set this and you can see that it adds this kind of glazed, shiny look to the die cut. Now next up we're going to color up this tiny penguin. He is so easy to color up. I mean this is actually really cool. Um, the only thing that I realized is even though I now have like a huge supply of Nina um, 110 pound cardstock, you know I shipped it to Germany from the US which cost a fortune. Um, it's great cardstock for cards but I realized that I would forgotten it's not so great for copy coloring because it bleeds quite easily. Um, or better to say not bleeding, it feathers, you know, like the ink, if you start to apply layers, um, the ink goes beyond the lines. I had forgotten that about the Nina uh, cardstock. So for Copic coloring, I'd probably keep using my um, Simon Says Stamp cardstock. But if you just do very, like, just one layer coloring, maybe two layers, it's not too bad. It's okay-ish. Um, but you will see here that it will start, right now, the ink starts to seep, like where the blue scarf is, it starts to seep into the body of the penguin. You can already see that. Um, but other than that, I'm doing very easy coloring. You can see that the penguin is just like one solid color. His feet and nose are one solid color. I'm just doing a little bit of blending here um, to add some warmth to his belly. And then I'm using the matching dies to die cut the penguin. And since I have my die cutting machine out, I'm going to use the outline die for the celebrate word, for the word celebrate, and cutting it from black cardstock. Before I use it, uh, I was kind of undecided, should I create the card like this, you know, just the penguin and the rainbow colors, or should I put it onto the black background? And I was undecided, I was trying, you know, both variants and I think both will work fine. It depends on what you're going for. I wanted to have like a very stark contrast and for that of course the black is pretty good but the card would have worked beautifully with just the rainbow die cut as well. So it's always worth checking it out. Um, I'm spraying the this background piece as well with uh, my mixture of perfect pearls and water just to add some shimmer and shine. Then doing the patience, the test of my patience, which is applying glue to such an intricate die cut and then putting it down onto its background carefully. Um, then to put everything together, there's some just some craft foam that I'm putting on the back of this panel. 
I'm adding some more adhesive on the craft foam now and I'm putting this onto my card base. This will give it some uh, dimension because it's otherwise a very clean and simple card. There we go. And then I put some foam tape behind the penguin and the celebrate die cut and just adhered it to the bottom of the card. And you can see that the very subtle background that we did adds a little bit of interest, gives a little bit of definition without getting in the way. And then I used uh, some, uh, some Nouveau drops just to add some little accents here and there. They are the glitter drops because, you know, everything else is sparkly on this card. So why not the drops? There we go. There you can see the sparkle and shine. So it's a really, you know, a really big celebration card. <laughs> Um, I hope you have enjoyed this short technique tutorial. Um, I hope it gave you some inspiration. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And of course, as I always say, please subscribe because I would um, love to share more videos with you in the future. And if you're looking for the products that I've used, they are listed in the video description below that you can expand. And of course, they are also listed on my blog. Thank you so much for watching again today and I hope I'll see you soon. Bye bye.